Good morning. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good, Good evening. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. All right. Good day today. Yes, was a good today because it's a, it's finally it's a sunny this day. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's finally sunny. Yes. Oh man, um, I did a very big mistake. I bought my son a tricycle, but the tricycle that has music. Mm. Oh my god. All day I'm listening to that music. <laughs> <laughs> so when he goes to sleep today, I'm going to take the batteries out. So. <laughs> All right. We have Patricia, we have Sandra, Carla. All right. Do you see my screen? Yes, in this moment it's yes, opening. Yes, it's, it's, it's charging. Okay. Tell me when you see it. Uh, we are seeing, watching. But you see the screen, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. Um, it's a quick video. It's about history. This is how good you are with history. Are you good with history? Yes. It, uh, about the the the, the whole thing that happening before in the in the in the time before. Yes. Yes, about world history, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I think that's something bad that I've noticed. I don't know now, but I noticed that children here in public schools, they teach them only about Central American history. They in don't- public schools. Yes. They teach them the story of the flag of Guatemala, of Honduras. And, you know, it's good, but that's really, you know, in your life, that's not going to do something good. <laughs> because if, if you ask too many children, like ask a public school student from high school, they don't know about, for example, Holocaust, the famine, Martin Luther King or Robert F. Kennedy. Yes, it's American history, but it's also world history. Gandhi, they don't, not, not many people know about Gandhi, unless you read. You're right. Yeah, I, I, think, I think they should teach them a little more world history. History is only in September. Yes. For most of, of the schools. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really think it's necessary for a kid to understand the Guatemalan flag or the Nicaraguan flag or the Honduran flag. It's important, but it's really not necessary. They focus on Central America independence. Independence, yes. Well, that's true. Listen to this conversation. It's about history. I can't hear hear the, the video. Oops, sorry, my my bad, my bad. Of course, we want you to answer the following questions. Number one, do you know when World War One began? How long has the United Nations been in existence? How long were the Beatles together for? If you really know the answers, type them in. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. If you know, Look, say it. Here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. 
I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. 1916. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, 50. since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. No, like 60 Next years. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, years. they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Oh. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the correct answers for the questions we asked at the beginning. So, what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945 following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960 and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say uh, I was yeah, good I at history? Wondering. Uh, I meant geography. I got one right. What about you guys? What's one? The Beatles. The Beatles, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. The world why? I thought the World War I was 1916. Gio, do you know that there is no great band in the world, in the history, that has lasted more than 10 years? Mm. I mean, originally. Yeah. yeah. yeah the I mean, Beatles, The Doors, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, the Rolling Stones have lasted, but really, they don't make albums anymore. It's just tours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is. yeah, but it's difficult for a great band to stay together more than 10 years. All right, let's see here. So here, we're going to um, be able to refer time and past using different ways, okay? Referring to a time in the past. Listen to this video. Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. A period of time that continues into the present, using since and for. The United Nations has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. Remember, we use since plus a point of time. Example, since last year, since Tuesday. And we use for plus a length of time. For example, for two weeks, for three hours. A period of time in the past using from two and four. World War I lasted from 1914 to 1918. World War II lasted for four years. Existence. 
Since Here. 1945. Since World War II ended. Let's do this. A point in the, a point in the time in the past, a period that continues into the present, in a period of time in the past. Okay, let's do this. A point in time in the past. This was really simple past. When did you study in high school? Carla? Uh, since... No, well, I'm sorry. Let, let's, let's, that would be a period of time in the past. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Where did you study high school? I study high school about um, 13 Where? years. Where? Yes. Um, in Soyapango, Maria Auxiliadora. All right. I studied high school in Soyapango. I studied that's, high school in Soyapango. That's a point of time in the past, right? I studied high yes. school in Soyapango. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I studied the university in mm -hmm. La Uca. I... I ate, what did I eat today? Oh, I ate spaghetti for lunch today. I watched the notebook last night. Perdí una apuesta. Really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's like one day I, I, when we have, um, with my wife, we have movie night. Last week I chose the movie, now she chooses it. And the options were Apocalypse Now or The Notebook. And The Notebook one. Ugh. Don't remind me, I'm going to cry. But it, 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 I cried. <laughs> so that's a point of time in the past, right? Before this work, I worked in NASA. I worked in, I don't know, I worked in Pollo Campero. I worked in, in Santa Tecla. Now, a period of time that continues into the present is when we use I have. Remember, uh, Ricardo, you work in um, Ilopango, right? Yes, teacher. Good, how long have you worked in Ilopango? You're on mute, sir. I, we can't hear you. You are on mute. Ah, okay. It's uh, 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 since um, 20, 20, 29 years ago. So uh, in this case is, I have worked in Ilopango for 29 years. 29 years, ah, okay. Because you started 29 years ago and you're still active. Ah, yes. Okay, I have worked. Uh, uh, 20 years. For 29 years. For, for 29 years. All right, good. So that would be a period of time that continues into the present, right? And now a period of time in the past. Let me see. Uh, Alexandra, hi. Oh, oh, she blocked me. Okay. I, that's how it is then. What? You blocked me. Oh, no, okay. Hi, teacher. No. no. Ale, Ale, Alejandra, did you study in the university? Yes, teacher. How long did you study in the university? Now, this is a period of time in the past. A period of time in the past. So I studied for... Uh, I studied for... I mean, I, I'm continuing study teacher. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay, so in this case, it's past to present. I have studied in the, in the university for one, two, three, four years. I have studied in university for three years. Very good. Um, Beatrice, hi. Thank you, Alexandra. You're welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, Beatrice. Are you married? Yes. Teacher. How long? How long have you been married? I have been married 
14, 14 years ago. Oh, okay. Now listen to this. When you say ago, murió ya. Okay. Two days ago, three days ago, that doesn't exist anymore. But you are still married. Yes, so I'm still married. Yeah, so you can't say ago because when if you say ago, it doesn't exist. Okay. So for example, um, Barcelona won the champions. No, no, what a stupid example. Five years ago. Never anymore. <laughs> Why did I mention that? Okay. Barcelona won the champions eight years ago. No, five years ago. Yes? Mm -hmm. They won the champions five years ago. Limpiamente. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> with sweat. And, yeah. Okay. But um, so in this case, if you're married, you say, I have been married for 19 years, you said, correct? 14. 14. So I have been married for 14 years. So for I stopped 14, 14 years. years ago and I am still active. Okay. Similar to Ricardo. He has worked in Ilopango for 29 years. 29 years. 29 years. Imagine 29 years. Uh, that's a long, a whole life. Yes. <laughs> I was. Imagine. I, I was too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was too. A long time. <laughs> that's a, that's a. Oh, ya no lo despiden, Ricardo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Se puede asesorar con Ingrid. <laughs> Asesórese con Ingrid antes que le hagan algo. <laughs> 29 years, un sueldo por año. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, listen to this reading, okay? We're going to do a quick reading about the Beatles, the Beatles. Do you like the Beatles? Yes. Of course. Do you like Elvis? Yeah. Who do you like more, Elvis or the Beatles? Now that's a difficult question. Yeah. It depends on the mood. Yeah. I like Edel, I, I, I like the Beatles. The psychod well, yeah, the psychedelic Beatles. Because there's two Beatles, the pop Beatles and the psychedelic Beatles. Psychedelic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. Okay, so it says number one, rock music has been popular more than fifty more than fifty years. So I guess they have four more than fifty years. The Beatles were a well known English band from the sixties. They performed together. For, for 10 years. From, 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 yeah, from, yes. from 1960 to 1970, right? 1970, yes. In 2003, the Beatles released another album. Even though two of the original members had already died, the album was recorded in 1969. In 1969. Nearly 40 years ago. Ago. Imagine that. I remember that album. That's where Free Free as a Bird is, right? Okay, in 2003, the United States launched two Mars exploration spacecraft. This is wrong. In 2003, the United States launched mm -hmm. two Mars. See, it's plural. Right. Mars Exploration Spacecrafts. There should be an S here. Their mission, which lasted more than a year, was oh, to yeah. gather information about the rocks, soil, and atmosphere on Mars. 
using rovers called Spirit and Opportunity. The rovers functioned longer than anyone, ex um, than anyone expected. Scientists thought they would last for only, for only four months on Mars. Since that time, since that time, they have sent back thousands of live pictures of the surface of the surface of Mars. Vi un meme que sí fue bien chistoso. Se han gastado billones para descubrir agua en, en Marte y, y nada en Somalia. Mm. <laughs> Ironic, ¿no? En Somalia, they have no water. And, all right. Listen. Do you want to know why well, we did this? Do you want to know a secret? What is your favorite Beatles song? In my life. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like Obladi Oblada. In my life, that's a good one. I mean, the Beatles are, are, are good. But I like Elvis too. Love Me Do is a very nice song. It's very sympathetic. <laughs> Love Me Do? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Twist and Shout. Dicen que Twist and Shout le robó mucho la bamba. If you listen to that part, dong, 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 shake it up, baby. It's similar to La Bamba, too. Dong, 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 dong. Pero the Beatles were the Beatles. Y como le iba a ganar un pobre chicano la demanda. No, sabe, no, es verdad. Saben que el, ¿cómo se llamaba el, el George Harrison? Uh, he's a that song my sweet lord I really want to see you I really mm. want to mm. that song the original was from a black group of girls and and you, you can see it right now it says he's so fine I really want to meet him so George Harrison literally stole that song and when the group sued him he bought the company. <laughs> hmm. Well, that was smart. I mean, he had the money. He bought the company of that, of that group. So all the songs are his. Imagine that. Okay, listen to this vocabulary exercise. The luxury ship, Titanic. What is it? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there you go. Someone's listening to the Beatles now. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're checking that out on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll see that. It's a big... It, it's the same song. It's the exact same song. So listen, the luxury ship Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Ocean in 1912. What would that be? It's a disaster. A disaster. Disaster. disaster you know what i'll be honest with you i don't believe that myth or that story about the musicians that they continued playing when sinking i mean really imagine you're sinking <laughs> i mean i i don't think that was possible but maybe the cellular telephone was developed in Sweden about 25 years ago. What would this be? An invention. That was an invention. Invention. Four planes were, hi were hijacked in the United States on September 11, <laughs> 2001. The terrorist. Terrorist. A, uh, what month is September? Um, nine. 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 So when you call emergency, what number do you call? 911. 911. Mm, September 11. Mm. Ironic, no? <laughs> Imagine they, they attacked on the emergency day. 
No, really, uh, people don't know if that was a coincidence or, or it was planned. Yes. But if it was planned, that was a good plan. That was evil. That was mal. Okay, in 2003, a dinosaur with feathers and four wings was found in China. Uh, discovery. 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 Since the late 1970s, HIV has infected an estimated 58 million people. Epidemic. 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 That's that's how that's how um, COVID is right now, right? It has affected like 79 million people, I think. <laughs> I I was reading something about that yesterday. U.S. President John F. Kennedy was shot to death in 1963. What was this? Assassination. Assassination. In 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary and Sherpa Tenzing Norgay were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Achievement. 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 Did you watch Seven Years in the Tibet? Yes, it's a, That's a good, good movie. Yes. I hate Brad Pitt. Yeah. Why? <laughs> he's 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 evil handsome. Man. That is handsome. It doesn't matter. No, that's why. That's why I hate him. That's why like man. He's like the wine. <laughs> you know, I, I I tell my wife one time we were watching uh, Leyenda de Pasión. That is a good movie. Yeah, and I tell my wife, look, I'm going to tell you something, but I'm not gay, okay? Pero Brad Pitt está mejor que la mujer que la han puesto. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. no, Brad Pitt is a very handsome actor, but but he's a great actor. But people, that and his problem is that he's too handsome because he's a really, really good actor. But people only see him because he's handsome. If you saw the Fight Club, he's good. Yeah, it's a good yeah. movie. Fight. A good movie, yeah. And and uh, Edward Norton, man. Edward Norton, yes. yeah. The two are great. Did you see American History? Hey, we, we gotta watch a movie. So yeah, that good one. couple yeah. in Fight yeah. Club. Yeah. Yes. And I saw the the another movie in 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 the university from Edward Norton. Which one? Um. Historia, uh, he, American History X. Oh, yeah. That's a great movie. Man. For yeah. a philosophy class, but I couldn't sleep <laughs> for, <laughs> for one scene. He had a psycho face. Huh? Like, yeah. Man, that's a great movie. Yeah. He's a great actor, too. Yes, very good. But now people think Fast and the Furious is an Oscar movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Using will. Remember once I explained to you the difference between going to and will? Yeah. Yes. Remember I told you the difference is not very big, but sometimes it's very, it's yeah. very important. Yeah. Okay. So this is like another explanation you will see regarding will. Ready to predict the future with me? We will do so by using will, won't, future continuous and future perfect. Don't forget to study and practice with a friend. Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. Real Madrid will win the champions, the Liga. Uh, Benzema will win. El Ballon de Oro, everything, because I predict that because Fiorentino pays for everything. You okay. won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. There are many ways to describe the future in English. This time, we will go over three future tenses. Number one, will, won't, plus base verb. 
Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Number two, future continuous. Will be plus present participle. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Robots will be performing most factory jobs. Number three, future perfect. We'll have plus past participle. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure of baldness. By the 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. It is important for you to know the future continuous describes an ongoing action and future perfect describes something that will be completed by a specific time. Note, future perfect needs a date or time of completion. For example, within 20 years, by 2025. Let's discuss this question. Let me, let me see if I can explain the simpler to you. You understand the present perfect and the present continuous, right? The present continuous is I am eating. But if we say will, is I will be eating. So you have to just convert to will. Um, present perfect, I have, I have worked in Ilopango for 29 years. Next year, I will have worked in Ilopango for 30 years. And in five years, I will have worked in Ilopango for 34 years. Do you understand the difference? So you can say it up to the present or up to future. Yes. Yes. And you can use it to, uh, for example, for a prediction. Yes. Um, I don't know, but it, it, I, I predict that in February, there will be chaos in El Salvador. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah, with the elections and the voting, oh man, it's going to yeah. be chaos. It's going to be different. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to that, to the telenovela, you know. Yeah. Fraud, fraud, fraud. <laughs> So I, I predict there will be chaos. Uh, what is something you predict in your life in 10 years? Ingrid? Maybe I will be a mom. That would look great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. In 10 years, you will be a mom. <clears throat> okay. And, and, you know, and the, well, Que Madrid vaya a ganar is really not a prediction. I go, I don't get you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, do you watch soccer now? It, yes or no? It's a little boring watching soccer like with no people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a very um, emotion. I don't watch it. Yeah. I, I am always... a fan of Real Madrid, but I can watch the pre day. I do not watch the, the matches when they play. Yes, it's, it's, it's true. It's, mm. Oh, class, remember how I tell you that I always buy stupid things that I don't need? Yeah. <laughs> I bought something stupid today, too. <laughs> check it out. Check it out. This, this are the best $10 I have ever spent. It's um look so like you put pads and it gives you electroshocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I my mom is dead, but I can I can hear my mom in, in her. You know, oh, you still, you don't change. No. no, you know, I put it, I put it on my back. I put it on my back and it has 15 levels. It's scary, it man. Yeah, it does. But when I put it in the number 15, I, I got a cramp. Do you know what a cramp is? Como calambre. Yeah. Like, calambre. Oh. <laughs> but it felt good. It, it did. I recommend you buy one. $10. That, that's the teleshopper thing. The, the... 
potatoes yesterday. Yes. Remember remember I told you yeah. I went to I went to um TV offer? Yeah. So then I started looking in marketplace where it's in a star in the end, you know, and I put my, my and they had it for ten dollars. And it's the same. It's the same. I said, <laughs> oh ten dollars and I you know and I chat. Forty forty dollars difference. Yeah, and I said ten dollars <laughs> and, and one dollar delivery. I'm like, really? Yeah, okay, I want one. <laughs> Boom. And then they, 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 <laughs> they were here like in twenty minutes. Where did you buy teacher? In marketplace. <laughs> Place. No, but it's good. You know, I, I tried it like for half an hour. Let's see. And <laughs> it goes boom, 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 boom. It, it, it's like three seconds, you know, dun, 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 and then Our rest, place. and then goes. But you actually do feel like somebody's hitting you. It's good. Marketplace. It's good. Yeah. I recommend you. Bongang masajador. Masajes. Keywords. Do you know what keywords are? Yeah. Yeah, like when you go to YouTube, you know, like a bookie, a keyword, you decide to mark Antonio Solis, right? That's in Facebook. Marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. You have never shopped in Marketplace? No, never. Yeah, this is in Facebook. Oh, no. my God. Is this in a specific place, teacher? Massage what? <laughs> Massage thing? Massage yeah. Teacher. It's like it's like an OLX, but it's much better because ah, here it is. You see Digi it? Digital therapy machine. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Eleven dollars. I, I bought therapy. it for ten. Yeah. If you can't find it, I'll give you the contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Application or is a or is in Facebook? You know what? I think. You did you find it, Gio? Yeah. What did yeah, you put? There, marketplace. Yeah, marketplace, and, and throws me to Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I I got it like two years ago, so I don't remember. But now it's it's in my in my in. It's the app. It's installed in my Facebook, so I just I just click on it and it opens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there are like categories, vehicles, property, apparel, classifieds. Hey, Gio, could ah. you, could you share it with us? <laughs> what? Could you share the link with us? Uh, yeah. Throw the link. Yeah. I Please. think this is it. Let me see. Thank you. In the chat. Mm -hmm. um, there is very nice because you can buy, it's like an OLX. It's much better than OLX. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is that you see who is selling it. Yeah, y también. Oh, I found the shockers there yeah. too. Yeah, sure. Those are cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's that's will, right? So it's predicted. So maybe Ingrid in ten years she will be a mother. Maybe in 10 years, Gio will cut his hair. I don't think so. Uh, maybe the face from the face. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. The beard. The beard. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Ruth will be married or maybe Ruth will have a boyfriend in two years. Maybe. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Hi. All right. So that's that's so you use will for predictions. Okay. That's why that's why the song I will survive as long as I know <laughs> how to love I know I'll be alive. Yeah. Um because everything is prediction. Okay. okay. Uh like for example in the last elections uh, there was a frequent word who do you think will win? Not who do you want to win. Who do you think you will think? win? Biden or, or Donald Trump? It was kind of difficult. That that was a difficult question because who do you think will win? Now, who do you want to win is different. Yeah. Because there you can say, oh, I want Trump to win. Oh, I want Biden to win. It's like similar in El Salvador. Like if the elections were today, 
it's very obvious who will win. Or, or it's very obvious who will lose. <laughs> um, if the elections were today, but you know, we have three, what, three, four months. All right, so, and you can say won't. It's very obvious who will win or it's very obvious who will lose. For example, this is not my opinion, but for me in this moment, I don't think Rodolfo Parker will win another period. Another period. Yeah. I, I now, the, yeah. It, it's not it's not like I, I don't want or I want or I don't. It's it's because of the logic of what's going on right now. He's so wasted. I yeah. Don't. He's yeah, I don't think I don't think he will win. I don't think I don't think a lot of old dinosaurs of of both teams will win. Yeah. Yes, but that's why I'm looking forward to February, the chaos. Yeah. The chaos. I, I can I can imagine if I'm alone. Let's go back to the mountains and fight. <laughs> <With your arms. laughs> yeah, everybody, and then only ten people will follow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun i like that okay all right so that's will with predictions all right so now let's check in 10 years flight from new york to tokyo less than two hours what would be the word will take will take there was one remember the concord yeah it was from France to New York, I think, right? That, that gets in fire, right? On time. It's yes. I think, I think it was three hours? No. no from, from Los Angeles, it's a, a, a 13, 13 hours from Los Angeles to Tokyo. No, no, but in the Concord. In the Concord. Ah, the Concord, yes, yes, yes. I forgot yes. the la the last time I flew the Concord. I, I forgot mm -hmm. when I when I went to France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soon they computers that can translate perfectly from one language to another. So mm -hmm. soon they. They will they sell. Will sell. Man, yeah, this is going to be mm -hmm. very difficult, but this is going to be very difficult, in my opinion. By the middle of the 21st century, scientists will we'll have discovered. Will have discovered a way to prevent aging. That's cool. Imagine you can you can be with your wife or your husband forever and ever and ever. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes in the future, sci sometime in the future, scientists will invent will invent a machine that transmits our thoughts. Oh, that's gonna be scary! Imagine when you're talking to your boss, and your boss can read your your, your thoughts. What are you thinking, that? <laughs> I am what? <laughs> My mother, what? <laughs> My wife, what? No, why? <laughs> <laughs> Within 50 years, people uh, will live in the moon. In the moon. Literally, because right now yeah. we have some that live in the moon already. Spiritually. <laughs> in less than a century, global warming, warning, I'm sorry, warming. Will will melt 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 the polar ice polar ice caps and many coastal cities will have, have disappeared. disappeared. That is scary. Yeah. This is a reading practice. All right, but let's do the next exercise and then we can come back to this reading. Watch. Mm-hmm.
Because I see here that the majority of the people already did the, um, it's the last part. Yeah, and that's optional. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this, let's do this reading, okay? So we, uh, th this listening. Listen to Sandy, Jerry, and Pam. Listen to the conversation. Check the correct answers. One. Ugh, Frank. I really need to get in shape, but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy. What about getting a personal trainer? Hmm. I never thought of that. What? The page. You can't see it? No. 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 Oh you man, it's, it's kicking me out again. Kicking me out. Hold on, please. But were you listening? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. You could hear it. Okay. Um, Remember the first Sandy. What does she want to do? She wants Sandy wants to meet, meet new people. Frank suggests. Mm. Oh, I'm a new fitness center. All right, cool. If you want to meet new people here in El Salvador, what do you suggest? Uh, going to a bar. And go to a bar. <laughs> go to a mall. A mall, yeah. All right. Excursion, take classes of something. Yeah. Go, to, go to church. I go to church. Excursion. <laughs> you no, know, you don't say excursions. You say field trips. Field trips. Field trips. Yeah, you know, that's a good way to meet people. It's true. Yeah. The problem is only old people go to those field trips. <laughs> Depends. You like the old people. <laughs> Yeah, no, if, no, depends the trip. Uh. Yeah, if you're into old people. Depends the trip. That, that is just on the fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Next, it says Sandy can get a recommendation for a personal trainer. Yeah, from Frank's cousin's Rachel. From Frank's cousin's Rachel. Jerry thinks that space travel we didn't hear that. Okay. It's finished, but it's finished for, for now. now. <laughs> oh. been, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but remember, this class, you yeah. you predict. Yes. Pam thinks? Yeah, people, people will build homes will on, the moon. Build on the moon. 
That's true, you know, that could happen. Yeah. All right, here, this one's cool. Let's, let's correct the mistake. Can you see the screen? No. Uh, no. Okay. No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we're fine. All right, what about now? Yeah. We can right. do it now. Yeah. Correct. Let's correct the mistake. Do you no. do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Instructions. Correct the mistake in each sentence. What's wrong here? Do you know where I can, you know I can where get someone? I can. Where I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Where I can. Okay. Yes. Do you know where I can? Because we're speaking active. If you say can I, it's a question, right? Yeah. You can have your car fixed at an auto repair shop. Is that have correct? Your car fix 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 fixed. 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 Yes. I like that. I like that. Fixed. But fixed. you know, fixed. say it a little bit faster. Fixed. 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 Yes. Do you know when Eliza can have her driver's license renewed? Renewed. 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 Oh, renewed. renewed. Yes. Renewed. Good. You can get your leather boots shines at Joe's shoe shop. <laughs> Guys, do you know what is the best trick to shine your shoes? <laughs> the back of your pants? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but for your shoes to look shiny, do you know what is a good trick? Um, With oil? Yeah, mm. cooking oil. Oh, cooking oil. Yeah, get a towel and put oil in your shoe in, in the towel and start cleaning your shoes you will have shiny shoes for three days and do it again well it depends you know if if you if you dress formally and you have to go with dress shoes believe me i did that for 10 years so my shoes were always shiny i remember i had a friend that he spent like 30 minutes you know and then he he puts like wax and then paste it and this and then toothpaste and and I just got a towel and try it. Try it, I recommend you. Okay, part two it says instructions. Choose the correct three word phrasal verbs. Remember looking forward to came up, came up with. Come up with, yes. Come on. With, um, it's like what I told you. I am looking forward to February because it's going to be a telenovela month in El Salvador. Okay, number one, it says, thank you for blank, a great solution to my problems. Yeah, coming up. Uh, coming, coming, coming up with. Coming up with, good. Sam had to get a science tutor. He couldn't. Keep up with the other students in chemistry class. Keep up with. Keep up with. Yeah. Good. Michelle has blank sugar and fat. She's lost over 15 pounds. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. You know what? Um, I have met, well, I have like three friends that I have seen an extreme change from obese or fat to thin and I asked them what's really what's the secret and you know they tell me oh you, you do exercise you do the diet but one thing they all tell me in common the three don't eat sugar So every every day I, I wake up and I say, okay, I'm not going to eat pan dulce today. And around four or five, 
then okay, I'm not going to eat pan dulce tomorrow. And then four or five in the afternoon, pasel del pan. You know, ay budin calientito, like oh, uh -huh. bastard, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Give me one, please. <laughs> and, and I say, okay, Friday, I will start on Monday. <laughs> He knows. Mira aquí, jefe, la mieluda. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Va a de la mieluda hoy, like. Yeah, you punk. <laughs> <laughs> but, but really, that, that's the trick. Don't eat sugar. I mean, I imagine the diet and all that, but f f from the three three girls I asked, they all tell me different things, but the only thing they told me in common was no sugar. Um, okay. Maybe another stuff with um, solved emotional issues. Yeah, it's true too. It's true. Okay, next it says, complete the suggestion for possible solutions. Paige, the smartphone is dead and she can't figure it out, figure out how to get it to work again. Go to Parque El Libertad. No. Uh -huh. It might be a good idea, blank, the website discussion group. So it might be a good idea, check out. What would be the, pro, uh, the um, word here? What is, what is that? It might be a good idea to, to check out. To check out to check out, to investigate, to look up, to go to a website discussion group. I do that, I do that frequently. One thing she could do is to try, is to try to, try to recharge the battery. What about blank it to a self uh, it to a cell phone repair shop? Bringing, bringing it. Bringing, yeah, bring it, bring it, it. bringing it to a bringing cell phone. it. A cell phone repair shop in La Libertad. Yes. <laughs> La Libertad. To, right. <laughs> With the coyotes. To a coyote Juan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it says no. Really, there's the, there's this place called Coyote Juan. Come on, like you're very stupid, man. That's like telling police I'm a coyote, you know. But he's good. He's good, man. It's bueno con iPhones. It says complete the sentence with a go during, for, oh. from, in, over, since, or to. Vincent Van Gogh, one of my personal favorite characters in history. Vincent Van Gogh died in 1890, more than 100 years ago. Ago. Yeah. Ago. Ago, yes. Disco was popular, mu was a popular music of? During, during, from. I'm sorry, from? from? Of music from. 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 Yes. from. Yeah. In this case, it's, it's from because it has a beginning and an end. And then that, yeah. During is a, is a specific time, like yes. during the 70s, during the 80s. Yes. Spinning was a popular type of exercise. In the 20s. In the 2000s. In the 2000s. People have been using home computers. In the 1980s. Since, Since. the 1980s. Instructions, complete the prediction with will the future continuous or the future perfect? That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Sophisticated robo robots, blank, will, re will replace. Will replace. Yes, it's true. Will replace many factory workers in the near future. In fact, that's happening now. Yeah. That's happening now. When you go to a mall, now you just press a button. Yeah. There are applications. Applications, yeah. When you go to McDonald's, yeah. now you can order in, in the big screen. 
-hmm. Okay. Yes. Tablet computers be used in every home. Will be used. Will be used. Will be used. Will be used. And I think in this case, in present, they are used. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Now tablets mm -hmm. is something common. I remember. I remember still in my time when I was a little kid. For me, Mama, quiero huevitos con queso for for breakfast. And now. A kid, I don't care if that kid is from Santa Elena or Canton El Pepeto, but that kid says, Mama, quiero pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Before, remember before, like 10 years ago or 15, uh -uh, I quiero pancakes. <laughs> but now, I <laughs> uh -huh, pancakes. But now it's something. Uh -huh. even, even the lady that sells food in the pickup sells pancakes <laughs> yeah it's true so number three you not need a keyboard because they'll all be touch screen activated you won't need you won't or you will not that's why i won't put it because yes, well, yes. i will not okay later in this century people will or will not live in houses that are heated with oil won't be. Will not be living. Won't be living. Will not. Uh -huh, will not be living. Within fifty years, scientists will have, will discovered. have discovered. Will have yes. Will have discovered. 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 Yeah. And I'm not gonna press next because I know I'm gonna get them wrong. I've been getting them wrong all day today. Okay, did you, you did this reading, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, this was actually the last part. This was actually the last part. Listen, um, I wanted to tell you, I want to recommend you if you have Netflix. I don't know if you already watched that. But if you want to practice your English, if you want to learn more about the American culture, there is a very, very good TV show and it's very funny. It's called Modern Family. And I don't know if you've seen it, but you will actually learn a lot because it's called Modern Family because there's an old rich man. This is a typical family in the United States now. There's an old rich man who married a hot Latina single mother. I think it's Sofia, it's, it's Sofia Vergara, the, the, the Latina. Yeah. But this old rich man, he has two children, one man, one boy and one girl. The boy is gay and he is married and they adopted a Vietnamese girl. And um, Modern the, family. Yeah, that, that's why it's called modern family because Nowadays in the United States, that is a modern family, you know, mm -hmm. because now all the families are mixed. Yeah. You know, now you have Chinese, like before, you know, even if you lived in the United States, but all your family was Latina. And now, no, now my family is all, oh, my wife is Gris, uh, my, my, my sister's married to a gringo, and my other brother's married to a Japanese woman, el otro con, con un árabe, whatever, and then and it's good because it, it talks about the cultures, you know, like Sofia Vergara with her Latino culture, you know, like uh, and she, in Christmas, she likes fireworks. And the old man, what? Fireworks are only 4th of July. And then, and then the stereotype, the, 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 the gay couple are the funniest. Those are my favorite. They are so funny. And you know how they adopt a little girl and the little girl is Chinese. So imagine that because gay people in the United States son considerados minority, minoridad. So imagine they are a minority and they adopted another minority, a Vietnamese child. And it's funny, it's good because it's 11 seasons and you see that baby grow from a baby until she's a teenager. You see all the children grow and all the process, but 
the show is is for family. I mean, your little children can watch it. It's not offensive. Toca temas delicados, yes, but it's not offensive. But it's very funny, and I recommend you to watch it because you can practice. Um, the vocabulary they use is not is not sophisticated. You practice the culture. You you learn more about the culture. You understand more about the American culture. Let me give you one example. I remember, I think it's the first or second episode, Sofia Vergara, she went to watch her son play soccer. And and her son scored a goal and she was so happy. So she called her family in Colombia. And she was like screaming, you know, she was so happy. And then her husband, the old man was looking at her. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? So, oh, I just called my mother and I was telling her how happy I was because Manny made a goal. And then he said, so that was a happy talk. That was a happy conversation. You were screaming. Yes, it was a happy conversation. <laughs> oh, now I understand why the countries, why uh, the countries of your people have so much conflict. You know, it's funny too because you know Latinos, we we shout when they, when we speak. The Sofia Vergara accent is very funny too. Yeah. Yes, I'll be honest with you, Sofia Vergara. Quizás es la que menos me gusta en ese show. She she's 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 okay, but there's a lot a lot of characters in that show. I think there's like eleven, so it's really difficult to pick your favorite. But watch it. Uh, in Netflix, ya los tiene las once temporadas. Ed O'Neill is incredible. Hmm? Ed O'Neill is incredible from... Oh, he's Al Bundy. Uh, Mar he's my, Marriott, Al Marriott Bundy, with you. Yeah. He's Al Marriott Bundy. Children last it was, school, man. Yeah, it was very difficult for me to see him not as Al Bundy, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to get an Al Bundy tattoo. He's my... my, my he's my <laughs> <Your> god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, listen, guys. So, really, uh, watch that. I recommend you. And, and it's good because... It's 11 seasons. It's like 20 seasons per, 20 episodes per season. So you have a lot to watch. And it's very easy to understand in, in language, in comprehension, and American culture. Because you have it all. You have Latinos, you have white rich people, you have gay people, you have the immigrants, everything. Watch it. You remember. Okay. Okay, class. It was very, very, very nice to meet you. It was very fun teaching you. Okay. Thank you. If you ever, really, really, if you ever have problems or if you will continue study or if someday you are stuck, um, please write to me. It's better to write to me because if you call me, it's very probable I won't, I won't answer. But write to me. You have my phone number. And tell me, uh, hey, teacher, what is this? And I will answer. Okay. But just you. tell me who you are. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't, yeah, sometimes I have like this big conversation with someone and I say, excuse me, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay? Okay. Hey, teacher. Okay. Thank Watch Modern teacher. Family. Remember me. You, you, you will like it. Okay. All right. And, um, yeah, if, like I said, you can find me on WhatsApp. Um, also, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in Facebook. I'm David Baltrons, I think. I think I'm the only one there. If you have Facebook, and um, I can send you more information of stupid things to buy. <laughs> yeah, someday, someday I can show you all the stupid things I buy, but okay. Stupid but useful. Thank you. But I use it. That, that's a good thing. I use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, class. Okay. Thank you for you all the care. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.